Serial decoding is available for all our oscilloscopes that are compatible with Picascope 6. The only significant difference you'll notice between products is due to the buffer memory available. The greater the memory, the longer you can capture uninterrupted data. The waveform you see is captured using a 4000 series oscilloscope at a sample rate of 10 mega samples per second. Now to highlight the differences in memory using the time bases provided in Picascope 6, a 2203 would be able to capture 0.5 milliseconds at this rate, whilst the 4000 can achieve 2 seconds and the 5204 can achieve 10 seconds. That is 4000 times longer for the 4000 and 20,000 times longer for the 5204. So let's start by doing some decoding. You'll notice the new serial decoding button available at the top. Currently we support CAN high and CAN low protocols. The current waveform is a CAN low signal. A number of baud rates are available from 10 kilobits per second to 1 megabit per second. This particular signal is 500 kilobits per second. The threshold voltage can also be adjusted to an appropriate level depending on the voltage level of the signal coming in. In this particular case, 2 volts is sufficient. You are now given two options for viewing the decoded data, in view and in window. In view displays the serial decoded data along with the channel. After we hit the OK button, the serial decoded data appears underneath channel A. If we zoom in, we can see the frame type. And if we zoom in further, we can see some of the bit fields. For further analysis, we can now select the In Window option, which displays serial decoded data in a table or window. If we click on OK, we now have access to all frames and field contents in our buffer. The table has headings for all field bits and additional information like frame number and start and end time. A number of options now are available. Export allows you to save all contents in the table or window into an Excel worksheet. So if we select Export and choose to save on the desktop, give it a name of CAN, uh, save it. If we go back to the desktop, you see it's created a spreadsheet. So if we double click on it, We can now see the same contents in the window view in our spreadsheet. Accumulate allows you to add frames from the current waveform buffer to frames from all previous waveform buffers without overwriting any old data. By default, Accumulate is not selected and only the frames in the current waveform buffer are captured and displayed on the window or table. Any old data from previous buffers is overwritten. Let's try an example. Without accumulate selected, we can see that by scrolling down, no matter how many buffers we go through, the number of frames remains capped. If, however, we select Accumulate and then select the Run button, you will see that as the waveform buffer increases, the number of frames also increase. View allows you to select the frame types you want and to see only the fields of interest. 
So if, for example, you wanted to only see data frames, you would go to View, select Frames, and unselect the frames that are not of interest. And if you only wanted to see the frame number, ID, data bytes, and CRC, you go to Fields and unselect the fields you don't want to see. You can reset these modifications by clicking on the clear button and then refresh. Filter allows you only to view frames with specific field values or field types. For example, we can choose to see only frames with a field ID of 280. So above ID we would type in 280. And as you can see, the window only shows frames with the ID of 280. We can delete this filter by deleting the value in there. Start from allows you to choose to look at frames from a specific point and ignore all previous frames. You can choose a value from any of the fields provided. In this example, we'll choose an identifier field with a value of 6DF. You can see that the first instance of 6DF is in frame number 7. When I click on OK, all previous frames to 7 are ignored. Search allows you to cycle through all frames within a specific field value. Again, we'll choose an identifier field. as is the easiest to demonstrate. This time we'll choose a value of 1A0. 1A0. As you can see, the first instance is in frame number 17. If I click on OK, it goes to frame 17. We can now cycle through each of those instances. Next instance is in frame 55, then 85, and so on and so forth. It's worth noting at this point that we can focus on any specific frame provided to us in the table by double-clicking on it. So if, for example, we chose frame 167, we have automatically zoomed into this frame. We can zoom in further as we wish. This concludes this video on Canvas decoding. For more information, please visit www.picotech.com. Thank you.